convince her, okay. Are we actually gonna have a conversation? Today is an unmatching socks kind of day. There's nothing about having to survive werewolf attacks in the Hogwarts acceptance letter. I think I'd know if there was a werewolf at Hogwarts. Oh, she's all by herself. Kiara, I'm glad I found you. Uh, sorry, what's your name? Haven't I introduced myself? I'm Heather Ainsley. Oh, Penny's told me all about you. Nice to finally meet you. Uh, Can I help you with something? You're investigating the werewolf attack on a student, right? Uh, How'd you know? Well, Penny told me you've been asking around about the attack. I'm investigating what happened too. Oh. You are? Why? I'm worried it might somehow be related to the cursed vaults. I want to question the victim directly, but no one I talked to knew who she was. I was hoping you might know her name. Uh. I wish I did, but I don't, sorry. I'm wondering if she was attacked. Oh, well, since we're both investigating the same thing anyway, why don't we get to the bottom of what happened together? I know you don't know me well, but I think we can accomplish a lot more if we work together. Besides, this might even be an opportunity to get to know each other and become friends. What do you say? Mm. Thank you, Heather, but no to both the offer and the friendship. I don't understand. Do you think I'll hold you back? Do you not like me? Does my breath smell? <laughs> uh, no, of course not. Actually, why are you so interested in investigating the werewolf attack anyway? You never said. Mm. I have my reasons. Mm -hmm. Tell me something, Heather. Do you think the werewolf responsible for the attack should be sent to Azkaban? No. I won't go so far as to throwing the werewolf in Azkaban. Especially since we don't even know all the details. Mm. Does the context of the attack really matter if a person got hurt? We can save deciding what to do with the werewolf until after we figure out exactly what happened. Which we can do quicker and easier if we team up. Mm. No, Heather, it's nothing personal, but... She just has a giant block of cheese in front of her, just noticed that. Investigating the werewolf attack is just something I think I'm better off doing on my own. Well, let's talk it over, Kiara. I think you'll see how much better it'd be if we investigated together. I actually have the attributes. Okay. Hmm. I have my reasons for wanting to investigate alone. Why are you investigating? It's something to do to uncover the truth to protect Hogwarts. Why do you want to team up? Two heads are better than one. We both want the same thing. You have information I could use. Ah. I actually thought that was going to be the other way around. What you're saying makes sense, but I'm sure, still not sure working together is a good idea. Why did I just a giant block of cheese? She's got sandwiches and chips, but I don't, I don't know why that's hilarious to me. I'm not- I'm not judging. <laughs> I need a whole block of cheese, too. I can handle this on my own. Yeah, but you don't have to. How do you feel about werewolves? There are good and bad ones. They're misunderstood. Still a good answer, just not the best one. Working together might be a smart thing to do. I'm still a bit nervous. Right? I'll do my best to help you feel more confident. Better off without me? Why would you think that? Think I'm better off with you? She's got this necklace. It's very distinct. It's gotta be important. And why is her hair silver? 
what good will teaming up do? We'll recover the truth faster, we'll grow closer, there aren't really any. Um, I would assume the game wants me to pick this one. Ah! I actually didn't mean to click it. I meant to click the other thing, <laughs> but my finger. <laughs> You're right. Getting to the bottom of this rumor will be easier if we work together. Yay! What happens if you fail? They just make you do it again. I'm glad you decided to investigate the werewolf attack with me, Kiara. Where should we start? I'd still like to ask the girl who was attacked for more information. But if you don't know her name, I don't know how we're gonna find her. If only we could look at Madame, Madame Pomfrey's patient files. Mm. Madame Pomfrey treated the girl after the werewolf attack. I'm sure her name would be in there. That's a brilliant idea. Don't get too excited. I already tried asking Madame Pomfrey if I could take a look and it didn't work. Mm. She wouldn't let me near them. This time you have me and I have a plan. We're gonna sneak into the hospital wing. We're gonna get the name of the attack student together. You're gonna fake being sick? We're gonna play get help? What? <laughs> Now's the time to put your plan in place. Okay. I have no energy, so I don't know how this is gonna work. My friend bet I couldn't eat 10 pumpkin pasties in a minute. I ate 12. <laughs> I probably threw up over sleep. Thought I was lovesick, turns out I was just regular sick. Cast I cast the curse of the bogeys on myself to get out of transfiguration. <laughs> no! Students! Students stop! <sighs> How are we gonna convince Madame Pomfrey to let us search through her patient files? Simple, we're not gonna convince her. Uh. What? I'm going to distract Madame Pomfrey while you search for the name of the victim of the werewolf attack. Uh, I feel bad going behind Madame Pomfrey's back, mm. but if it'll let us get some answers about what exactly happened, I'm in. Uh. Only, how are you going to distract Madame Pomfrey? I figured I'd fake an illness or an injury, why? Mm. Madame Pomfrey has been catching students pretending they're ill to get out of class for decades. Ooh, are, are we going to get a real injury here? She's not going to be easy to fool. Good point. Any suggestions? Mm. Most people get caught right away because they either pick these outlandish illnesses that are easy to debunk, or are so poor at faking symptoms that Madame Pomfrey can tell right away there's nothing actually wrong. Mm. I suggest you stick to a very specific symptom, come up with a believable story, and sell it realistically. Madame Pomfrey will eventually realize you're fine, of course. But if you're convincing, it'll take her long enough to examine you that I'll have time to look at her records. Why don't you just curse me? Got it. I think I'm ready to distract her. Mm. But I'll come with you. Your story might be more convincing if I back you up. Madam Harvey, I don't feel so well. I'm worried something's wrong. Mm. You appear normal. No obvious plagues or rashes. What seems to be ailing you? I feel fatigued. My head hurts, my stomach hurts. Okay. The teach is vague. I think any of these works. Fatigue might be nothing. I felt so tired and fatigued lately and I'm not sure why. Did you stay up all night listening to the wizarding wireless network perhaps? No, in fact, I've been heading to bed early, specifically because I thought I wasn't getting enough sleep. But no matter how much I get, it never seems to be enough. Mm -hmm. Sure you're not here to get a pass to sleep through class? I'm tired of sleeping. The last thing I want to do is sleep more. Mm. I was the one who suggested Heather visit you, Madame Pomfrey. I'm worried Heather's fatigue might be the beginnings of something serious, like scrofungalus. Mm. It's very possible. Perhaps I'd better examine you, just to be safe. Thank you for bringing Miss Ainsley here, Miss Lebowska. I can take it from here. Lie down on the open bed and I'll take a more thorough look at you. And... energy is needed. Alright. Whale. 
I'm not gonna die, am I? I don't bomb freeze that you, I think my vision's fading. I wonder if Kiara has been able to find the attack student's name. Also, I've changed my theory. Kiara's the werewolf. You're not gonna poke me with any needles, are you? I have a tissue, Madame Pomfrey. I'm far too weak to get one myself. Also, Harry, this this takes place like Harry uh, Voldemort's been defeated. So I think this like takes place like Harry is like a year or two old at this point, or a year, a year or two old when school year starts. So we're definitely f way too far out to be encountering Remus Lupin as a student. So I'm curious to see how he's going to tie into this. that thermometer. It's almost as if someone vanished it. Oh, come on. Maybe I'll go find some. You're still considerably less needy than Professor Snape when he gets a cold. <laughs> I've examined you thoroughly and can say with certainty that you are fine. You don't seem to have scrofungalus or an active fever, but I'd still like to take precautions just in case. That's a relief, Madame Pomfrey. Thank you for looking after me. Mm -hmm. Be sure to thank Miss Lobowska as well for her diligence. I had no idea Kiara was so knowledgeable about healing. Oh. Indeed, she's the most talented intern I have. Kiara helps you here in the hospital wing? Hmm. Yes, during her free period. She wants to work at St. Mungo's Hospital one day. That's amazing. Oh. She's impeccable bedside manner and always goes well out of her way to help patients. It's rare to find such patients in a practicing healer because... Madame Pomfrey, I need a bucket. I think I'm going to be... Mm. Well, because of things like that. You're free to go. Unless you'd like to help me stay in clean. Did I seriously just throw up? I think I'll pass, but thank you again. What just- I don't understand what just happened. Did I seriously just throw up? Kira, how'd it go? Did you find the attack student's file? Mm. Yes, her name is Pippa McMillian. She's a third year Gryffindor. She was found leaving the Forbidden Forest with gashes on her arm and was treated based on her claim that she'd been attacked by a werewolf. This is like the moon? Sounds like we have our confirmation that it's a werewolf. But perhaps more importantly, we have a name. Let's talk to Pippa Macmillan. She may be able to tell us more information, including who the werewolf might be. Pippa just finished the charms classroom. Let's talk to her while she's free. Energy! Oh! Pippa McMillan? Yes, that's me. I'm Heather Ainsley, and this is Kiara Lobosca. Ah. Hello? Yeah, you. Yeah. We're investigating what happened the night of your werewolf attack. Mind if we ask you a few questions? I don't know, I've already been asked about it plenty. I understand you're probably still shaken, but it's important we figure out exactly what happened. Why would... <laughs> Why would you answer student questions? It's possible it might be related to the cursed vaults. If that's the case, Hogwarts could be in danger. Any details you can tell us might help us figure out who the werewolf is and prevent this from happening again. Your ability to protect Hogwarts depends on the accuracy of my story? Also, why would I'm a second year student come to ask you about protecting Hogwarts? Is something the matter, Pippa? <gasps> Are you still in pain? Should I fetch Madame Pomfrey? No, it's nothing like that. 
truth is, I'm not 100% certain it was a werewolf that attacked me. Huh? You're not? That's what you've been telling everyone. I thought it was. That's why I reported it as a werewolf attack to Madame Pomfrey. Everything I remember makes it seem like a werewolf, but it was dark. I was afraid and it happened so fast. I was just going to accept I'd been attacked by a werewolf. But then word got out and people started panicking. Now your investigation is depending on me being accurate. And suddenly I'm not so confident in my memories. Oh, poor girl. How's everything you do remember? We'll see what we can make of it. More energy. This one's gonna take hours. So this howl didn't sound like a regular wolf's howl? So the white creature scratched you, but didn't bite. The creature you saw had white fur and howled? I shouldn't have let myself get my hopes up. Really? What does that mean? Kara looks really uncomfortable. She does. We've noticed that. I went to the Forbidden Forest on a dare. Needless to say, it didn't end well. Okay, I forgot to hit the button again. She did say the attack happened on the night of the full moon. Um, she wasn't bitten, but she was scratched. And I said, don't be embarrassed about... Don't let anyone make you feel embarrassed about being scared. Hopefully we have enough. There we go. I should have stayed to defend myself, but I was too afraid. You don't stay to... You run from a werewolf. A big white creature and getting scratched. That's about all I'm sure I remember. And the howl. I wish I could recall what I saw more clearly that night, but I ran away. It's okay. You were scared. It's only natural. But I'd say based on what you've told us, it sounds like... <gasps> Like Pippa was attacked by a white wolf, doesn't it, Heather? There's no way to know for sure. Pippa said her memory was fuzzy, and she only assumed it was a werewolf. There's a lot of other things it could possibly be, right? I suppose. <gasps> it's alright, Heather. You don't have to keep denying the obvious. Ugh. I'm sorry, Pippa, for everything you went through. Why are you apologizing? You didn't do anything. <gasps> Kara, what's wrong? You look terrified. <gasps> I've gotta go. She alright? I don't think so. I better go and talk to her. Well, reveal some surprising new information. I think she's a werewolf. <laughs> and she was worried that she attacked her. I need to be alone right now. Okay. Oh. Oh. Heather. What are you doing here? Checking on you. You left so quickly after Peppa told us about her supposed werewolf attack and... <laughs> you were worried about me? Of course. Who wouldn't be after seeing their friend so obviously upset? Friend, Heather, we talked about this. Mm. I don't want a friend like me. It's the other way around. not true, Kiara. I'd be lucky to have you as a friend. Oh. Only because you don't know any better. You don't know what I've done. You don't know that. Just tell me. You'll see. Uh. I can't. Can you at least tell me why you ran out on Pippa and me? Hearing about a possible werewolf attack is scary, but you look terrified. Almost like the werewolf was right in front of you. Uh. Almost. What's going on, Kiara? Are you alright? Is there something you know that I don't? I... Pop 
Burfers. Burf, burf. <laughs> Sorry, little dog. Now's not a good time. Oh. Burf isn't a dog. He's a werewolf pup who visits me from time to time? What does that mean? How does that work? That's a werewolf? Yes, when werewolves mate on the full moon, they can have regular-looking wolf cubs. Okay. <laughs> I know it sounds hard to believe, but it's true. Borf, Borf. I think Borf likes you, Heather. Perhaps you two should go and play. Perhaps some other time. Right now, I'm only worried about you and the werewolf attack. Look, Kiara. Madame Pomfrey told me... You give your all for the ill and injured students in the hospital wing. Perhaps it's time you let someone help you instead. Barf, barf. Mm -hmm. Sounds like Borf agrees with you, Heather. I can't help you until you tell me what's wrong. Mm. You've seemed generally concerned for me, and that might help the investigation for you to know. Plus, Borf does trust you, and he's a good judge of character. All right, I'll tell you what I've been hiding. Starting with the fact that I'm a werewolf. You're a werewolf? That's right, and there's more I need to tell you. Ah. So you might hate me afterwards. Oh. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.